Hello there, everybody. My name is Master Rolfus. Welcome to Rise of Nations Extended Edition. Today, we're going to be playing a Conquer the World campaign. And the way a Conquer the World campaign goes, it's kind of like this. You essentially have an entire board, sort of like Risk, essentially, where territories are divided up and you can gain new cards, new resources, and special bonuses, depending on the uh, territories you conquer. Now, when you conquer a territory, it actually... Uh, changes the game from the Risk board game to a traditional Rise of Nations Extended Edition multiplayer match or skirmish game in which you fight over that territory against the opponents that were originally inhabiting it. Which is really, really cool to be honest. Having Risk combined with Rise of Nations is almost like Total War. Anyway, so we're going to be playing on a tough difficulty mode and we're going to be playing an entire world map which means we're going to be conquering the... Uh, Essentially, the islands of Japan, all the way to the asshole end of America, which would be Alaska. Anyway, let's start a new campaign as the Mongol Empire. And you know what? We're going to do what Genghis Khan couldn't do. We're going to show him that we're the greatest conquerors, not him. And that means he's going to roll over his grave, he's going to puke all over the place, and he's probably going to feel sad for himself that he wasn't able to do what we have done, which was to conquer the entire world as the great Mongol horde. Now... Uh, we're gonna have the power of the horde ability, which means we get a free rage cav unit and depending on the military research we get We can have two we can have three the whole shebang Which are which is pretty good as most of mongol unique units are range calf We also get mounting units cheaper faster construction time for the mounting units And then we also get more food as we conquer more of land mass of a map yada 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 that sort of stuff So they're really good at kicking ass chewing bubblegum with mounting units Alrighty then, so here's our map right now. We have Mongolia right over here, and right next door are the Dirty Koreans, the cheapskate Chinese who are going to probably backstab us. How, how dare they? We will conquer them. We will conquer you too. And then we have the Japanese, and then we have India over here, right next to Persia, right next to the Russians, and you know what? We're going to make all these guys our slaves. We're going to make pyramids out of their skulls, and we're going to rape their women, and you know what? It's going to be amazing. We are the Mongol horde after all. We give no fucks. Over here we have the clusterfuck of Europe, and across the pond we have the Americas. Divided up between Abraham Lincoln, Seneca, and Sitting Bull. And then down south we have the Mayans, the Aztecs, and the Incas. Right over here in Australia, it's essentially no man's land. Nobody likes Australia, so sorry about that. Australians, you cannot play as the Aboriginals or the European colonizers, which kind of sucks. Anyway, so I think we're going to go west to uh, the horse resource over here because that will actually benefit our unique ability quite a bit. Anyway, so right now we have the war party objective, which means all we have to do essentially is kill off a bunch of fools and we get the territory for free, which is really good. So let's divide up our infantry and our horses. We'll use the infantry to distract the army and then we'll use the horses to just go ahead and kill off all the citizens and we don't have to worry about his pike units all we have to really worry about are the crossbowmen that he has because a lot of crossbowmen spells doom before our horse units as they really can't get away from a massive swarm of crossbows there you go infantry units good job and now we can continue moving forward with them and essentially killing everything we see in front of us Look at that! My little horse units found a nice, voluptuous woman to kill! Ha 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 ha! The Death God will be pleased! Look at that! A little dude! Hello there, little dude! How are you today? Would you like an arrow in the knee? Ah! So far, my infantry battalions are doing some massive work on this little farm over here. I wonder if we could just camp there and wait for fools to come by. If we can. There must be a woodcutter's hut nearby. Ooh. Smorgasbord. Ah, a scout. Kill the scout. Go, my calf. Go. God, we need to kill all of these citizens here. Because that could essentially give us the objective, I guess, a minute earlier if we just kill off all these guys. In fact, we might even send in our horses to help out. No, 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 we should just keep them separate. Keep the horses and the infantry separate. That way the army has to attack two forces at the same time. 
Oh shit, we found a city. That sucks. That could alert the army to our presence. Yeah, the army's soon going to come. Probably after the infantry, which is pretty good if they do so. But if they come after a cab, it's no problem because we can just run away. Yep, they're coming after the infantry, so now let's run back our infantry. Well, we'll have our cav attack any unit that we see around their empire. I would love to take on his infantry battalions head on, but that would be a stupid decision to make. Because he has a ton of troops in there. I mean, a fuck ton of troops. Another citizens. We meet again. Come on, come on. Kill this dumb broad. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. For the Mongol horde. Oh, look at that. Local villagers have decided to join us in our crusade. Move. Move, I say. You can have all the booty you want. Booty, booty, booty. Walking everywhere. Okay, just trying to distract them. Just trying to distract them. We might be able to attack the military force head on now, so let's go ahead and support our infantry units. Even though there's barely every, any infantry units right now. Good god, they've all been eliminated. Go forth! Ah! Kill the phalanxes first. Aha! Now they are confused! They are trapped between the light horses and the horse archers. Ha 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 ha! Divide and conquer! Anyway, let's continue to the strategic map mode. And we got the horses, we got the money. So let's see. Persia is planning to attack somebody. They're going to attack the Caucasus with the Turks. The Egyptians have conquered the Sahara Plains. Spain has conquered Morocco. Nubians have conquered Central Africa. Germans are going down south. Romans are going up north. France is sitting all by itself, twiddling its thumbs. Mayans are all by themselves. Right next door, Chinese and Japan have actually conquered a few places here and there. want to conquer but at the same time right now I just want to chill out well we could conquer this area but we're right at the gates eh, that's a scenario I kind of want to play oh Cyrus the Great and Mehmed have failed damn damn son wonder how do we get a second army because I would love to get that uh, at this point, I guess upgrading our territory strike would be the best thing to do. Oh, no, no, next turn. Yeah, we'll get a surplus. Ooh, the Russians have actually conquered Siberia. And Siberia actually gives them a military research reduction. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. We might have to attack the Russians right now. And that would actually be probably the best thing to do. Buy a card. Ah, uh, I guess we could use the food economic boom. Yeah, so let's go ahead and attack the Russians. We'll start this baby off right. The enemy's army is tied up elsewhere. So they have hired mercenaries. These mercenaries require no city and suffer no attrition. Okay, so essentially this is a tower defense game. 
Oh, that's okay. We have a ton of units here to choose from. It's actually good that we fought the... A little... Enemy generals now. Well, not enemy generals, but the little Russians now. Because, honestly speaking, if they have an ally, it can make things a little bit more problematic. Alrighty then. So, research-wise, let's get out civic. Oh, no, no, not civic. Science, then civic, and then barter. We have a few resources to start off with, so we don't need to do a traditional build. Ah, so we all we have to do, all we have to do really is survive for 19 minutes. We have to control 70% of the map. They don't require a city, so... Ah. Maybe we should just stay in one city. No, 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 that would be retarded. That would be retarded. Let's go ahead and continue expanding. We gotta play this like a normal game. But we should build up some more military units to defend us against any incoming attacks because they could come anytime. Getting this would be pretty good. Not even for the age advancement cost, but at the, just to kind of get us some more gold and iron. That would be amazing. Okay, good. Ah, and there's the... General over here known as Sar, Ivan the Terrible. So already we have essentially one guy. Wonder, should we hunt him down or should we just wait for him to come to us? Well, let's hunt him down. Well, what's the worst that can happen? We're gonna get attacked by another guy at the same time? Oh, wait, that could happen. Oh, well, let's, uh, well it's, it's a short distance away, so let's just go ahead and kill him. We killed the enemy general, though. We killed Tsar Ivan the Terrible. This is just weird. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna have to survive for 10 minutes or so. Control the territory using... I don't know. Our cities. Temples, stuff like that. Should be getting is probably some pikemen though. That's something we've also been neglecting pikemen production. Food is still a concern. A massive concern. At least we fixed out the wood problem. However, once our farms over here are set up, food will no longer be a concern and it will be. There will be a beautiful time for the Mongol Empire once again. A beautiful time. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, all the farms are set up. Good. And get one more guy on the woodcutter camp and... Let's also get another guy on our last farm. I just realized that this wasn't a farm, but this was a university. So I feel like, kind of like a dumbass. Oh. Hello there. This is strange. Okay. Save that great Dongarino from further pain. Hmm. 
Let me go ahead and set up a tower actually right over here. Then we'll set up another tower over here. So far, so good. Just a couple of random attacks here and there, but nothing to really france your pants about. Religion would be useful, though, in helping us out and getting more territory, as well as the third city. Which we could get right now. Well, we need mercenaries. Ooh. That's a problem. That's a big no no. Whoa, what the hell? Did I just see units spawn? That's strange. Let's check that out really quick. Because that is really fucking weird. What is this Dragon Ball Z? They can just teleport all over the place? get where my units are being ambushed by. It's very strange. These are strange times, my Mongol brothers. These are very strange times indeed. Dogs riding on cats. Cats riding on dogs. It's full on anarchy. The sky is literally falling. My brothers. The sky is falling. You saw that too, right? What is going on? Like ghosts. I said, I see you sending an army right now to check out what you're doing. We need scouts, I think. Where's my scout? Let me build a scout right over here. And my little citizens, I love you. But get me a city right over here. Ah, okay, so it was some military units. Thank God for the scout. Oh, the scout's not even done yet. Oh, now he is. Ah, we found the rebels. Are you friend? We will hunt you down and kill you. Oh, we can get a lot of citizens on this one mine. Oh, look at that. Look at that find. Good job with the ruins, my friendo. Oh, and now we can finally get out of castle. That's good. Just need a few more knowledge points left, and then afterwards we can get trade, and then we can get even more efficiency for our resource gathering, which is good. I just wish we could find these enemy generals a lot easier. We're gonna have to just hunt them down the old fashioned way. We already killed one, but. Take a while before we kill the others. We could conquer the territories fairly easily, however. Just with the use of temples and shit like that. Oh, look at that. Like, let me go ahead and get out a temple here.
you, my friends, can get us some granaries all throughout the empire, as well as lumber mills. Okay, let's try to go general hunting. Not, I haven't really found any attacks yet against my empire, which is a little bit weird. Oh, we found another army group. Well, this one is a fairly large one. Alright, my friends, it's time we kill off this little group of fucktards over here chilling out in our borders. Oh, whoa, 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 Joplin Nears, what are you doing here? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I like it. archers and no generals insane I mean where in the world could Carmen San Diego be The best thing you can do now is just claim all these relics and ter uh, pieces of territory over here. Well, not pieces of territory, but these little relics and natural wonders here. And then just grow my, ter uh, my territory. Because right now, the general hunting is terrible. I've only been able to kill one. They are well hidden, I'll tell you that much. At least by clearing out these little units over here, I can essentially make our borders safer. Yeah, we are keeping the peace in the Mongol Empire. Like heroes, like Batman and Robin, or Supergirl and Wonder Woman, all that type of shit. Who would Supergirl be taking over with Wonder Woman, actually? Hold on a sec. I think I'm not thinking straight. I think we can double our natural borders once we get out to the next city. Yes, come on. Come on, kill these goddamn horses. Yeah, we're getting ambushed throughout our empire. This is not bueno whatsoever. We have the caravan set up? No, we don't. Wow. That kind of blows. Oh, that blows even more so. This is gonna suck. We didn't really build in a lot of uh, military units, even though we had the resources to do so. Yeah, 
Oh, this is bad. These guys are ambushing us out of nowhere now. Out of out of out of and broad daylight. These guys used to be really easy to manage against. Okay, let's just get out of the city really fast and then afterwards, what we're going to then do is get out of castle. That will slowly and slowly loosen the amount of control he has against on us. Oh no. So that's what they meant by these raids. This could be terrible. This wasn't what I expected at all. Then again, what else did I expect? Oh well. We can definitely turn the tide of battle though. Just play it cool, play it smart. We have 62% of the territory controlled actually. So that means one more city and then we win. Yes, focus on the tower. Don't focus on the enemy units that are trying to kill you. I hope this strategy works out well for you, my friend. Ah, and there we go. We just conquered most of the map. That's good. I'm getting a little bit dicey there, but that's because I didn't notice the fact that there were there was going to be ambushes all over my control territory. I thought it was only going to be territory I didn't control. But anyway, you know what? I'm going to end this part off here, but first and foremost, let's accept an alliance with Germany. So that we can essentially kick Russia's ass later on. And oh shit, they were able to overrun my forces in the steppes. Yikes. At least Korea is dealing with China right now. So you know what, next turn around, we're going to deal with Russia again. And we're going to try and kick their ass. And then afterwards, we're going to push on to conquering more of Russian territory. Since now Russia has to deal with Germany in their western flank, we shouldn't have to worry too much about Russia anymore. Anyway, see you guys next time, and bye-bye!